This sounds like this film kind of crosses different genres. And it does. Sounds intriguing. It does. I, I, it's a, it's a bizarre film, but I think hopefully um, it has some commercial value because I think it, um, it basically we we tried to set up the traditional Western archetypes in the first few acts, and then we try and break them all down in the end. And we just wanted to surprise people. We wanted to make a provocative, honest film um, about kind of the, the 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 real happenings on the frontier. Um, and it was a movie that was um, was very popular with the cast and crew once they got behind it. But it was a hard movie to get the first person to jump onto because um, it was a kind of risky and provocative material. And um, but I'll, I'll tell you, it's an actor's movie. I mean, I, I don't know if people will like the film. I hope they do, but I know they'll love the acting. Um, Francesca Eastwood and Chad Michael Murray were phenomenal, and the entire supporting cast is beyond belief. So. Who was the first person that signed on? It was Chad Michael Murray signed on this movie, and um, the character wasn't really right for him. We wrote it for like a 50-year-old man, like a Russell Crowe type, or a, you know Clint Eastwood a, a couple decades ago, and and we um, we didn't really see Chad in the role. And because he was too young and too pretty. And uh, I sat down with him and had a meeting with him. And I knew after about 10 minutes that he was the guy. He wanted to transform. He wanted to do something different. He wanted to grow. And we collaborated to create um, really the final, uh, the final version of his character, Henry. Um, and, and it came out so much better because of his collaboration. I mean, he's a brilliant actor. And he put in the work. He's a really, really hard worker. Francesca Eastwood is a bona fide movie star, and her talent matches her charisma. Um, she's phenomenal. And then we had Ben Browder, we had Keith Moniker, we had Nathan Russell, we had Madison Beatty, who was a master. Then Terry Polo has like so much Meryl Streep in her, except she's like, she's kind of like over the edge, like in a different, wait till you see her character. Anyway, I can't wait till you see the film. And, and these actors are really amazing. So what do you want people to know about the film? Um, I want them to know that we, we shot it on Kodak 35 millimeter film. We're screening on a film print tonight, um, thanks to Kodak and Lorette Bale at Kodak. So what does that mean for people who aren't really into the It means that there's there's kind of a there's imperfections. A lot of movies now shoot on digital formats like the Alexa, and um, we really wanted to create a look uh, that was reminiscent of the classic films, um, and the imperfections associated with the look of two per film is uh, is exactly what we were looking for here. So this movie is going to look like it was pulled out of the vault. Um, and you're watching a movie from the late 60s. I mean, we're hoping, but the material is very fresh, um, and the way we shot it, as far as the long takes, is very fresh. Um, but the look of it is grainy, gritty, and exactly how a Western should look. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank Exciting you. to be here. Thank you. Well, I mean, there's no better place to premiere than the Sundance Film Festival. This is where we wanted to be. This was the dream, and now we're here.